All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and this is Wall Test 25. Heat. We got some cool things on the board today. So, we're gonna dive right in. Starting off, we have my Simplex 4251-30, uh, glass plate pull station. Glass plate is broken, but the hammer's still here, so that's that. Zooming over here is my Notifier BGX101L, dual action pull station. Going up, we have my system sensor, 5061P, 135 degree fixed and rate of rise heat detector. I will be activating the rate of rise feature, and because I have a whole bunch of these, I will be activating the fixed temperature, which ruins the device. So yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Going over here is my Edwards 135 degree heat detector. Yep, finally got a new one because I wrecked my last one. I will not be setting off the permanent heat detector. I will just be doing the rate of rise feature. System sensor key switch, still same as always. Test and reset. Here's my Wheelock AS horn strobe set on code 3 and 75 candela. You can see it. Oh, you can see it. 75 candela. And then over here is my Wheelock Exceder set at code 3. 75 candela. And they both are on sync. And I think it sounds kind of cool. Uh, you may notice there's a new sprinkler head up here. And I was able to get one after uh, they had the whole plant sprinkler system, uh, what's the word, renovated. So he got me one of the new heads with still the installation cover on it. It is a glass uh, glass tube head. So that's kind of cool. I mainly have um, solder heads. That's kind of nice. It looks real good. And still got the bell up here. So, shown that because it also works on a heat detection principle. Yeah. All right, so let's dive right in. Pull the first pull station. Here we go. Alright, so we are going to silence the panel. These are both two-wire devices, so the strobes stop because my panel does not support two-wire audible silence. Ah, uh, we'll just pull the next pull station, why not? So, in three, two, one. Alright, so we'll silence the panel with the external silencer and we will begin to reset pulse stations. So we're going to reset the simplex station. You just put your B key in and it resets. Normally, with this particular pulse station, when you break the glass, this outside frame here and the hammer comes down as well and then so the lever is completely unobstructed. Uh, it works on a tension principle, so then normally you have to get a new glass plate and stuff. But if you see inside, there's that screw that I put in there. Because normally there's a little peg through that hole that then is sitting up against the glass plate. And then see where the screw comes out? It pushes on this bar, which pushes this bar down, which pushes those rods in locking onto this front bar. So basically once the tension is removed from this screw, this front section here will fall down and it won't be able to go back up until you put a new glass plate in. So yeah, something kind of interesting. And then we will reset the notifier station. I can get my key out. Here it is. What I have to do for this one is just turn and it opens. And you'll notice it looks like, oops, 
You'll see here, it looks like a place for a glass tube. I mean, like when you pull it, there's a little arrow that comes down. That's actually for a cardboard crush tube, which I thought is kind of interesting. And I'm gonna try and see if I can get one to do a cardboard um, crush tube demo on my notifier station. But I think that'll be kind of cool. All right, enough talking, let's get back to fire alarms. If I can get my key out, oh my gosh. There it is, and we'll reset from the key switch. Oops, wrong way. All right, so now we are going to test the heat detector. So let me grab my lighter, and we'll test the rate of rise function on both of them, and then permanently trip one of them. So, testing the rate of rise. You should go hold a lighter underneath, and it will go. All right, and then we'll wait for the panel to reset. We will do rate of rise on this detector and then trip it. All right, it is booting up and here we go. Maybe, there we go, system normal. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put the lighter up against this disc. And what's gonna happen is that there's a little bit of solder and the disc is gonna fly off once the solder melts and then that circle that's on a spring that's gonna shoot in permanently, closing contacts, making this having to be replaced. So let's do it. I've never caught this on video before, so let's hope this works. All right, we're going to silence that. Here is the disc that once sat right here. And inside you can see that's that white circle that shot in. And that goes inside the device and will close the circuit. And there is no way at all to reset it. It is done for. And like when it sits like this, I mean, it, 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 if I reset the panel, we'll just go right back into alarms. Those contacts inside are closed. Oh, here's the little uh, spacer gasket that was on it too. So it was this, and then the disc, and then that circle held it in. So that's gonna keep going until I disable the zone and change out the device. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. That was so depressing. <gasps> okay, just went to supervisory. There we go. Have a wonderful day.